everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of In the Know with Casey Ferrand. Of course, I'm your host, Casey Ferrand, and I'm here with our guest this week, Mr. Henry A. Jones, who's a longtime artist and illustrator who's been doing work in New Orleans for many years and has also had work shown at a number of uh, artwork, art shows here in the city. So I want to welcome you to the show today, Mr. Jones. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thanks so much for uh, being here. Great. I'm very glad to be here. Glad to meet you. So your daughter uh, sent me a copy of a new piece of artwork that you have just put out um, that's really related to humanity and um, the situation that we're all in right now with this COVID pandemic. And um, actually, I see it on the wall right there behind you. So I'm going to let you kind of talk yeah. about that painting and tell me a little bit about what inspired it. Really, I got inspired with that painting from the painting on the left-hand side of me, the red and blue painting. I did that one for a Martin Luther King exhibition about a year ago. And because uh, I wanted to do something to help unify the country, I said to myself, if Martin Luther King was alive today, and if he wanted to commission an artist to do something, I do a piece of artwork that could help unite the country, what would it look like? And I came up with the red and blue hands and the theme. I pray for a unity to make us great. So when the pandemic happened, I pretty much got the same idea. I was trying to show appreciation for the healthcare workers and all of the people that are trying to help fight the pandemic. So, and I wanted to show it from a different perspective because I know everybody's praising them, and I, and I understand that. But I want to kind of show the anguish that they're going. So that's why I put the gloved hands praying, because I know I've seen images of them praying, and I know it's stressful for them and their families, and to watch people, um, you know, trying to help people and watch them die and going through these changes every day. So I want to show the anguish and what they go through. So that's why I put the gloved hands and praying, the praying energy. I also had the image of the other healthcare workers that surrounded the praying hands just to show appreciation for what they're doing. When I saw your piece, it was just like something about it just really stood out to me. Um, and I just love the way it, it, you know, it shows the hardship that they're going through and that they're in the trenches, but we're still all praying for them. For you as an artist, how has hardship and trial inspired your artwork through the years? Well, um, I guess because by my age, I'm like 73, so I grew up, in the era when everything was segregated. I was a kid, I was a kid, but I was still remember it. So um, it just, I always tried to do inspirational art work, especially uh, that was inspired by Martin Luther King, something that people could look at and kind of relate to. So I always tried to do work that when you would look at, you wouldn't just walk away. You know, it wouldn't just look like every other. So I tried to always do something original and something that would catch attention. So, uh, you know, and that's been my inspiration throughout. Oh, yeah, you did your job. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. What has been the response from other people who see who see this uh, this United Hands theory? So far, it's been really accepted very well. And I'm trying to push it out and say, well, we have to, uh, just like the red and blue ones also, let's say a, a symbol of unity. It's just been inspiration to try to do something to make things change because it's, it's really getting crazy out here and um, we need something to unite. I know a lot of people expect, you know, or hope for their art to touch people and create change and invoke, you know, some type of thought or, um, you know, emotion for people to act. So right. your work is doing that and I really appreciate you sharing it with us, sharing it with the community. Um, if people want a an opportunity to uh, maybe purchase a copy of it. Is there a way they can do that? If anybody's interested in seeing my work, it's at henryajonesart.com. That's all small letters, henryajonesart.com. Got it. All right. Thank you so much. And um, thank you again for joining me today to just talk about this. And we'll make sure we get the word out for you. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs>